remember all those off cuts that I picked up at that shop the other day? Like this piece of sepo here? Today I'm going to take two pieces of oak that I picked up at that shop and I'm going to turn them into a platter. I was asked to do a demo for Worldwide Wood Turners. The website is worldwidewoodturners.org. Everybody's welcome to come. It's open to everybody. It's no cost. There's a Zoom meeting link on that website. All you have to do is click that and go to the Zoom meeting. It's every Wednesday night at 6 o'clock Central. So I was asked to do a live demo for them on July 13th. So I'm going to take these two pieces of oak and I'm going to prep them for that video. So I'm going to show you where I go. I'm going to prep these two platters and get them ready for my demo. I'm going to stop when I'm at that point and I'll do another video down the road after I get them finished to show you the final product. So let's get over the lathe and see what we can. So I'm going to take these to the bandsaw and then we'll take them to the lathe and get them prepared for the embellishments that I'm going to do. I turned this from a three quarter inch piece of glued up red oak the other day and I filmed it but that didn't work well. The raw footage is very choppy. It, it almost looks like I'm frozen in time and, I, and I'm, it's jerky. I'm doing this for two reasons. One, to show you that you don't have to have big thick blanks to turn on the lathe. You can turn thin stuff, three quarter inch material, make a nice platter out of it. If you wish, you can go as far as I'm gonna go with this one and embellish it. Uh, this is not paint, it's dye. I used blue dye. It's a, I think it's aquamarine uh, writ dye. And you can get it either in liquid or powder form. I use both if I'm doing the powder form. I don't mix it with water, I mix it with denatured alcohol because it dries faster and, I, and I'm hoping that the, it will stay more color fast. Uh, but I've not had an issue with color fastness of RIT fabric dyes. Fabric dyes are made to dye organic fabrics like cotton, etc. Cotton is made from a plant material, it's cellulose. W wood is composed of, guess what, plant material, it's cellulose. So it works well on wood. Yes, trans tint dyes sometimes give you a richer color, but not everybody can afford those things. They're, they're expensive. I have some. I'm not using them here because it doesn't flow with the, the, what I'm trying to teach you. All that said, the next step in this is to actually apply the paint colors and spin it up. So we'll move over to the 2014 to do that because that's where I have my protective box built. I will not be turning the inside of this out on this video. I'm gonna use the same procedure to rough this one into shape as I did the bigger one. I'll turn me a small foot and cut a mortise and then turn it around and chuck it up. Okay, I've got my Triton on. First objective is to make this round, just like we did on the other one. be okay right there. I think I'm gonna make my foot about that big.
this part of this grain does not like that scraper at all. So I'm going to sand this first in reverse and then I'll flip it around. But before I do that, I want to deal with this edge because it's going to do the same thing to me. In fact, it's already, it's already got some split out over here, but that we'll deal with that. All right, time to sand. Like I said, I'm gonna start in reverse. Okay, that was to 600. Let's turn it around and platterize the bottom. Now on this one, I want to leave the middle pretty thick. I'm only gonna colorize that much of it. <laughs> This time I'm only going to sand to 400 because going to 600 I didn't get the color that I wanted. So I'm going to go to 400 maybe I can get some richer color. Okay, I, I should have changed angles for y'all when I was sanding this up or cutting the front and I forgot, I'm sorry. But I got you here for the important part. Did the last one blue, it's a light blue, aquamarine. I may put some more dye on that, see if I can darken it up some, we'll see. Right now, I'm going to apply this. This is dye as well. It's actually red, it's the same red that I dye my snowman and Santa Clauses with. It just takes a lot. It's a full dark product, and it's a pretty dye. I have diluted it with the nature alcohol, so I don't have to put it on quite so thick. But I'm gonna get in deep quarters and stuff like that. We'll put some rain in it, go in. And this is going to take a number of coats. Right, okay. Only two applications on it. Okay. Wow. This coat is being stubborn. Seriously stubborn. It is not going to go in there at all. And I want this red. I don't want it pink. So I'm going to try something else. I'm going to let this dry a little bit before I apply that other red. Hopefully it'll be a little darker. Okay, this is red, cherry red. It's a lot darker. Let's see what we have. Oh boy, is it ever. Okay. Now let's wipe it down and see what it looks like. I like that a lot better. So now I'll let that dry. I wasn't really digging the aquamarine. I thought it was too light. So I just I just went over this with some dark blue. And you still got the aquamarine showing through in places, but I think it'll work out much better than what I had with what I've got planned. 
I mean, it's, y'all don't know that right now, but we'll see. I'm, I'll show you. And this red looks good enough. It's the, the, the dye in the pores is still real wet. You can see it or I can. But yeah, you can see that dark stuff right here and the dark right there. That's because it's not dry yet. So I've got to let this sit and dry. I'm going to knock this back because that dye surely raised the grain. So I'm just going to knock that back down. Oh yeah, I smoothed it up quite a bit. Another way of embellishing that you've seen me do before is the centrifugal effect where I put paint fairly heavily around this area. Make sure it hadn't dried and then turn the lathe on as fast as it'll go. Getting there. I've never had to do this more than twice. I can live with that. I'm only going to do two colors on this one for what will be an obvious reason, I think. I didn't let it dry long enough. And basically you just keep doing this until you get the effect that you want. And now we let it dry. I'm happy with that effect. So I'll let this dry before I move on to the next step. Actually, I'm not gonna move on to the next step. I'm gonna leave this right here for the demo. So here's the first platter that is taken as far as I'm gonna take it. I will do the, the, the centrifugal spinning after I get it on the way and that's what I will be doing in the demo. The other thing I'm going to be doing in the demo, because the paint won't be dry enough yet, is I'm going to go ahead and turn the center out of this and, and show them that process. So these are the two pieces and I'll be showing you the finished products in an upcoming video in a few 